So we're going to do three variations to describe to him the concept that is leave it. The first one I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, two pieces of food, one in each hand. I'm going to show him I have the food. I'm going to present it to him. I'm going to say the word, and he's going to try and go for it. I'm just going to close my hand. I'm going to wait for him to give up that pursuit. In the split second he does, I'm going to mark YDS. I'm going to feed him out of the other hand. So we're going to have the food. Leave it. engage a dog's prey drop. He's going to feel compelled to chase this once he sees it. So I'm going to use the leash so that I can ensure that he can't get to it before me. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop it from about knee high here. And if he tries to go for it, I'm just going to slam my hand down over it and cover it up. Okay. Leave it. And I'm only going to cover it if he goes towards it. Yes, good job. Yes, good boy. Notice I'm saying leave it first and then tossing the food. In a real life scenario, you're going to see him darting after it and leave it will come after. But just for like learning, I want to give him the word first so he knows what the concept is that we're doing. In real life, you're going to see him doing something and go leave it after the thing's already occurred. And then finally, the third variation, I'm going to have him in front of me. I'm going to toss the food between my feet. Behind me. If he tries to come forward to go after it, I'm going to add spatial pressure and move towards him, back him up until he looks up at me, and then I'll mark yes because he's going to look at me like, hey, what gives? So if he tries to get in the middle. Yes. So I'm going to catch him when he looks at me and backs up. Exactly what to do in those questionable situations. 